Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here. It is Team Rarad. Listeners, how you doing? And it's beautiful Tuesday's edition. I am doing pretty flipping good for myself. It's not that bad outside today. That is a good thing. Not a bad thing. The sun's out. It's a bit chilly outside, but thank God there's no snow at all today. Coming down, thank God. Now, like, another part's of the world you know that really sucks for them but anywho let me discuss for you wrestling news wrestling discussions and a lot of awesome information for you so sit back relax be a feed up grab something to eat grab something to drink and now if you don't do that part maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain topic in the article will be down below let's freaking roll this I think it was like last year sometime that Ric Flair had to go under not just one surgery, two surgeries. Not back to back, but it was so close. Um, he pulled through and um, he's doing a lot better. We had not seen Ric Flair in a quite some time in a WWE television, you know, because he had to take care of his health. That's more important than competing. Now, this is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard from him. He says that he's cleared to take bumps. What? For example, if he had like a physical matter with someone, like a like an argument backstage, one raw segment, or smack light, or even pay per view, he could take some bumps. I don't think that is a very wise idea if he thinks that he, he's cleared to take some bumps. He had two major surgeries. His, his health is not that greatest in my opinion still. Um, he's getting up there in age. Um, I don't know if W want to take a high risk to let him take some bumps. You know? He's not a young man anymore, you know. I don't mind him showing up on Raw, making a big speech like "woo, woo," you know that kind of thing. You know, pump up the crowd, boost the ratings the best they can because we all know that W is desperate for ratings, you know, especially on a flagship Raw. I don't give a crap what anybody says. Raw is still a flagship, bad show, good show. Raw been here since. The 90s, 1993. You know, I know a lot of you out there, or maybe some of you, love Smack Alive way better. Back in the day, it used to be the, the reverse. Everyone loved Raw, no one doesn't give a crap about SmackDown. You know, after the Attitude Era, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, that's just my opinion on it. Eventually, hopefully, Raw will get better. WWE is just having some tough times right now. For a while, but anyway, I think that'd be a dumb idea to bring in Ric Flair, and let him take some bumps. That's what he says. I don't know if he went to his local doctor. Local doctor says, you know what, Flair, you could compete again. I don't know if he went to his WWE doctors say, you know what, you could compete again. I don't know if he's under contract with WWE. I don't know. I know he's a legend. I don't know if he's under under a legend contract. But listen to this. I'm just going to give you a little preview. You guys can read the rest of it. W. Hall of Famer recently appeared on Stone Cold Steve Austin's show and claimed that he, he, he has been cleared to take bumps, he says. Do you really take Ric Flair's word or does he miss being with the fans? I don't know. Riffler, if you're listening, it's just time to let this thing go. You have a great run in the wrestling business and spend time with your lovely wife or your fiance, who knows. I think he just got married again for the what billion time. I'm not too sure how many times he got married in his life. Um, spend time with your kids. You know, I know W is desperate. To boost up ratings, that's why we always like to bring these guys back, like Ric Flair himself, HBK, Taker, um, Batista. Well, he's not really 
I mean, he's he could still compete Batista, but not like these other guys I mentioned, Hogan. You know, they're always gonna have problems to boost the ratings because they want to bring up the guys we grew up with, the Attitude Era, the Russian Aggression Era. Well, not the Russian Aggression Era, especially the Gorn Era. You know, everyone wants to see Hulk Hogan. If the Ultimate Warrior were still alive, rest in peace, he'll be making an appearance on Raw. Especially, same thing with Piper, rest in peace, you know? I don't know why do we always want to bring these legends because they're desperate for ratings. And I just thought of it, you know? So, do you believe what Ric Flair says or do you think he's just saying that to p people talk about him once again? Um, like I said before, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. If he wants to take some bumps, he has two obstacles. Number one, his local doctor has got to clear him. If he has a local doctor, his own personal doctor. And of course, if he's under contract with WWE, WWE's got to clear him. Then he could take some bumps or whatever. In the meantime, it's not going to happen. Okay, for you have your moment. You have your great matches with your opponents great championship matches your time in the wrestling business in my opinion is done do those you know keep promoting your your merchandise and other stuff you know i'd be surprised if we bring them in to the mix and let them take a a bump i'll be shaking my head really you know this gotta be a limit how old you could take some bumps in wrestling you know there should be a limit an age limit but they won't do that that's just how I feel you know your health is more important they get back in a square circle take take some easy bumps you know that's all I gotta say like subscribe leave a comment hit the notification hit the subscribe let me know what you think about this article you agree with Ric Flair or disagree with Ric Flair have a good one see you sometime later on tonight Woo!